thing thus far. Ball into the box, it's gonna be in! And it's Zane Bubb! In swinging corner for the Knights, near post. Flicked on. Goal, goal, goal for the Knights. Especially in a game like this. Bubb, good clearance, starting the counterattack here. Nice feed from Grinning. Chisholm trying to put it on his left foot, and that's another great tackle. Gilligan from Myring. So right it with all kinds of room. And that's a nice tackle. Down. FIU out on the break. Here's Paulo Alves. Taken down. Clean challenge from Zane Bubb. Mustre. Contact with Bubb, but nothing in it. It's Marshall now with the ball and near side. Sordo has it taken away. That time Bubb, Zane Bubb, we talked about him in the pregame. Comes up. Nice slide tackle. And we'll go on the move, Old Dominion with Schmalbach. He had to go earlier, and oh, he's trying to make a maneuver and just... Another costly turnover here for UCF, and they're just being a bit too cavalier with their, their passes. Oh, headed off by Arias. Here comes Nagawa to midfield. He gets wiped out by Bub. It's a poor turnover here from the Knights. And a great win back, at least for the moment, by Bub. Nare now. Good shading by Zane Bub. UCF will have to dig deep, try and pick this lock. He's able to keep it in somehow, some way. All pinging around Stevenson. Cross to the back post, headed away. Earlier for Hideto Gondo. Stevenson, the fifth year. Has Dylan Williams on the left. Cross from Dylan Williams, canceled out by Bub. Something high is the answer, like right here. Here's something, Mustre staying on the ball. Eduardo Mustre finds Bernardo. It's Bernardo! Again, it's like you said, wet pitch, wet ball. Makes it a little bit harder to get a good, clean grab on. A rare giveaway by UCF tonight. Is and cleared. That was trouble for a second. That ball was loose. Richmond settles it. Give him a try in goal. Stephenson looking for Santos, but there is a year where they expected to really take a step forward. Injuries have prevented that in the regular season. Impressive this year, Jordan Illion. That's picked off by Bub, intended for Myring. They can get Mop on Mondaire going. It'll help their cause tremendously here as they trill this. Impressed with his professionalism as, as a young player who's come in and has been very successful to turn this one around and meanwhile South Carolina about to put together if they can hang on for 45 minutes perhaps their best win and quickly cleared away Bub will knock it back down to Arias the new players being outdoor the Latrash um, but that would don't look up. now here they come Ilian creates the space Ilian gets under it you can see the night snow starting to ease in to their style of play, just enjoying the possession and now changing it up when they want to. Before a Halloween road trip to Marshall, and then teams get a six day break before some good times. Young goalkeepers, yeah. And he's made some amazing saves. He made nine saves uh, last time out against FIU. And Knights with possession here. Here's Rosa. Into the later part of the night with only 13 minutes to go. How does NC State adjust? Who's a supreme ball handler like Fritchie at the back? Coming from that school of German. Bub downfield. Good yeah. touch. So Peterson, who's officially listed as a forward, as you mentioned before, now playing fullback. You have to go wide and then come back in. They'll do so. Haskinen. Left back. First time all year he's looked like a rookie. Yeah, Let's we'll see if he can conjure You're up right. a moment here. You see how they build with three. Ball over the top from Bub for Rosa. The Half. <laughs> UCF chips it near side, looking for Dorado. Their MO, building with a back three. Under a minute to two nil in Orlando. Again, their, their next evolution as a team is going to be what can they do offensively? Are they able to create more chances? Zane Bub as well as Fritchie. Way on the way back line. Dignity attacking midfielder. 
we call him number 10. He's not going to roam too far out of that position. He's going to stay around that center circle area. And they're going to use him to direct traffic. Has been running for the better part of 80 minutes. And holding some possession right now for the Knights or the Mount about the missing of Luca Dorado. Big switch so, to the opposite side now. As soon as he's... The Seals. There's Zane Bub looking cross. Under 20 minutes to go here tonight. UCF might be fairly content here to just play some ball control. Final five and a half minutes to avoid what would be a fourth consecutive loss. Side UCF now works it back towards the middle. Ball chipped in towards the near side, headed into the middle of the field. Still a penalty kick. Arias to Bub. Good ball from Bub into the middle. Pressure in their own third. Bub, this time he slides around Ilian. Now we head to Arias down the right. A little bit tired. Coming down towards the 45 minute mark. You can see on your screen there. As soccer season comes to a close, men's basketball as well as women's basketball getting ready to get underway. Here's Zane Bub traversing his way forward. Offset things in the middle of the park and create opportunities for the players up top. He certainly brings a different skill set. The season. Feet. Might have heard a little bit of the referee conversation. The AR can be called whether you connect or not. You don't get bonus points for having bad aim. Arias back to Bub. It's in Ville. Bub going to step forward. That's the cries UCF. So many students showing up tonight to send off the seniors. Here's Bub. They've conceded six goals in the second half alone, Evan, which means fatigue is starting to set idea for service. Play it short, gets the kicker better on. Shake off that early scare and get back to what they do best, which is dominate games and score goals. Utilizing this near side for Clay Obara, and his technical ability has really kind of opened up some spaces. And they still have Adam Luckhurst on the bench waiting to come on. Sorinellos back from Bub. Donaldson Rosa will settle. Important spell here for the Knights. The last five to ten minutes, they've been out of sorts possession wise. They'll do well to hold on to the ball, give everyone a touch, get some confidence. In danger of dropping their second straight home game and falling out of the Sun Belt Championship in the first round. able to like one another it doesn't come overnight you can't just play like that it, it is the starting lineup from last year and it just goes to show you how how much time play start possessing the ball Zane Bob the center back excellent passer various other guys that have stepped in to the roles but now Arias Gamecocks are so disciplined though they're compact and Eric Southern He's playing as a 10, essentially. Yeah, he is. Requires so much focus and energy and concentration. We kind of saw that with Georgia State. Exactly. For the Knights. A lot of possession here early on here for UCF. Been a big test for the youngster. Who is it? Is that there has to be a very clear intent. Here's Bob. Bob. UCF relieves the pressure. Sometimes it's just a drop of the show lev on just to create some speed. Bob again. He turns into a 1 2 3 with Zane Bub. Was with the team last year. Overall, this is one of the youngest teams in college soccer. It is a Back to Bub. Grillo up the far side, back in the midfield for Soranellis, who dishes back to Bub. 
also the confidence to hit that ball. Tried to tell Justin McLean not to do something. To just park the bus. It's still not over yet. Over to Bub. Pressure. Maine in a tournament spot, although they would be awfully seal up first place here. They would, would not mind just taking the air out of this one. Three over the Tigers on the road in the season opener, so you look at the two biggest wins for... Bub on the back line, far side, Grillo. Runs the whole infield up. It's like a lot of history and a lot of pride. Yeah, that is in serious jeopardy. From Peter Clement, that sailed wide right from the front side of the 18. Central Florida back in the midfield. Former Costa Rican Youth International. Arias developed at the famed Alawalense in Costa Rica. Sophomore started 10 games this year. Back to Arias. 